morning. I'm Alanis. And I'm Cherish. We're, We're the Dolphin News, news team reporting the news you need to know for February 2nd. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty, and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Thank you. Inspirational quote. The, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. B.B. King. We are celebrating Black History Month in a big way here at Durant. Every day, there will be a special guest to highlight an important person from Black history. Today, Faith is here to talk about Sister Rosetta Tharp. Sister Rosetta Tharp was born Rosetta Newman, March 20, 1915 to October 9, 1973 was an American singer and guitarist. She gained popularity in the 1930s and the 1940s with her gospel recordings characterized by a unique mixture of spiritual lyrics and electric guitar. She was the first great recording star of gospel music and was among the first gospel musicians to appeal to rhythm and blues and rock and roll audiences, later being referred to as the original soul sister and the godmother of rock and roll. She influenced early rock and roll musicians, inclu including Little Richard, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, Chuck Berry, Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Eric Clapton. Sister Rosetta Tharp crossed multiple genres or style of music. Tharp pushed spiritual music into the mainstream and helped pioneer the rise of pop gospel. Beginning in 1938 with the recording Rock Me and her 1939 hit This Train. Her unique music left a lasting mark on more conventional gospel artists such as Ira Tucker of the Dixie Hummingbirds. Thank you, Faith. There will be a Black Kersey quiz ball on February 3rd. Students who want to participate can take and ask their social studies teacher for a study session. Stop for reading, listen up. Students who read and write book reviews for at least two books each month will participate in a book chat with Ms. Barnett's. Refreshments will be served. Students who read and write at least two book reviews will also be invited to learn how to draw manga with a special guest artist. Book reviews can be placed in the clear drop box in the atrium near the Dolphin Readers World Temple. Lunch for today, barbecue pool park sandwich, grilled cheese with chicken noodle soup, corn on the cob, baked beans, and tuna applesauce. Finally, remember to think about the three big questions for clarity in every class. What am I learning? Why am I learning this? And how will I know I learned it? Have an amazing Dolphin Day!